Hey there everyone, how's it going? Shari Mr. Feast here with M Digital Gaming. Today we're taking a look at Call of Duty, but not just any Call of Duty, Call of Duty Mobile. Yes, the Call of Duty game that was free to play and made for <laughs> for the phone. As you guys know, I've not really done any mobile gaming before and I had initially planned on covering the original Call of Duty Mobile release back in 2019 and it, I honestly i played so much of it back then but i had a crummy phone didn't know how to record and even that and then uh i didn't know how to play to get the games gameplay from my phone to play and when i would record using an app it would be terrible now thankfully i've upgraded my phone since then i have like the moto g5 stylus it's a pretty good mid-range phone that i got with my new phone plan that i got and then i just had to install it and Back in 2019, I played this game so much that I ranked literally level capped. I don't know what the level cap is now, considering how many years after I'm playing this. But it's interesting to see that they brought in a lot of maps from the game. And here I am on Miami Strike. So if you remember the recent Cold War, Black Ops Cold War that we don't talk about, <laughs> that recently launched, had some pretty good maps. And this is one of the maps that I was really impressed by it. Though it is kind of like a mobile version of it. But going off to say why I'm covering these games, is that recently there's been a trend of seeing other games coming to mobile. Uh, Call of Duty did it first of course in 2019 and other IPs are being announced like there's gonna be a Rainbow Six Siege uh, mobile port, a Apex Legends mobile port, and of course as you guys know if, if you've been watching my shorts I'm really hyped for the Battlefield mobile short to see how it comes. So I wanted to get some practice in. As you guys know I'm mostly a, a when it comes to first person shooters I am hardcore mouse and keyboard but the middle ground for that i've noticed is that i've found myself enjoying playing on the phone considering probably there's a lot more interest and a lot more i guess granular granular uh, ability to see and touch my phone i guess i don't know uh, uh, what i'm going off of here but i had a really good round i have the gameplay that's being shown in the background is just three rounds and if you guys notice the black bars top and bottom it's uh because my phone is a 6 six by 10 ratio instead of the usual 6 by 9 ratio on youtube you're going to be seeing some pretty widescreen aspect ratio gameplay now i might zoom it in like i did in the intro but let's see maybe that'll be better yeah let's zoom it in that's probably a lot more of what you guys are used to watching here on YouTube. But honestly, I've really enjoyed playing Call of Duty Mobile. I've been playing it off and on and trying to kill some time that I have 5G unlimited data. Uh, I mean, I don't know why I haven't invested. Maybe because, you know, with the pandemic and everything like that, I didn't really bother or look into trying to get a phone. But you see, I miss it every couple of minutes. I'm not that amazing. Like, like I've expressed many times before, I'm, when it comes to first-person shooters, I'm really comfortable with playing on my with a mouse and keyboard and there is a way to play this game with a mouse and keyboard through an emulator which initially when i was going to cover this in 2019 i had done and well let me show you some a game clip here yeah i don't think it's fair for me to say that I had the f unfair advantage and I know I was going to be called out on it. I mean, after all, you're you're playing against people who are on their phones and they're just tapping at it and trying to get it. It's it's kind of like the the controller versus mouse, mouse versus keyboard versus controller debate. It depends on if you're good at it or not. So here we are in the second round. Dude, I get we got Merc, but somehow we ended up running, running winning this round. And oh, before I do, I kind of want to let the gameplay pay, play out a little more, but this whole entire video, we played three rounds on Miami Strike. Uh, the first one you guys saw was Kill Confirm, which is my favorite warm up, uh, warm up mode. I like to play that because it like keeps me moving. You know, uh, you have to collect tags. You, you don't hunker down and camp like most people end up doing in this game. And I've noticed on console releases of Call of Duty, but this is why I probably like enjoy this. And also, I gotta admit, the game has come far, far from what it was. Uh, it's it's the animations are impressive. Uh, the gunplay, the the way, like before this game came along, you could not play first person shooters. And there's still some first person shooters that I would not want to play. But this game, like, I just love how you can drag and just basically aim. And when you do shoot, the button can, turns into a joystick as well. Now, like I said, this round was, oh my gosh, really sweaty. And I gotta admit, since I did come into this playing as a level 107 character, I had totally lost my 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 momentum playing the game because I, I really 
I'm not really that good at it, but honestly, I had some pretty good moments, good plays, good flanks, and it's amazing that you can play Call of Duty on your phone, or like classic arcadey Call of Duty, you know? Not like Modern Warfare, but there is a mention and also rumors of Warzone coming to mobile, just a standalone Warzone mode for Call of Duty Mobile, or, I mean, Call of Duty Mobile already has a Battle Royale mode, a Zombies mode, a a... 2v2 gunfight mode and even um satellite and other maps for ground battle is available as well which is really interesting to me so that's really amazing that you can do all this on your phone of course there are there's separate downloads and i intend to check out other mobile games so if you do have an interest in me checking out other shooters or other games from mobile phones i'm mostly a uh, simp for phone games that aren't isometric or you know like the ones i'm talking about the free-to-play mobile games that you see on youtube ads uh i like stuff like this you know call of duty uh, maybe I'll check out PUBG. I have to actually check out PUBG properly once, but like I said, I'm just gonna let the gameplay play out. Uh, first round is already over. The second round is probably gonna finish in a bit, but the first round was just kill confirmed. This is, uh, I believe, just regular good old-fashioned team deathmatch. And gosh, like you can see all my my buddies and my teammates are dying left and right. And uh, I believe the last round was Domination. And Domination is another one of my favorite modes that isn't... Uh, it's not too it's a little forgiving and it's not as too sweaty as it is but i love i love this how it things and you can see i have like a lot of the older skins from season one of the game i have mason i play as ghost at one point but you know i'll let the gameplay play i hope you guys enjoyed my little ramblings and if you have any more suggestions on other games to check out it doesn't have to be a mobile game but you know with all these games coming out soon definitely let me know what you want me to check out and i'll feature your comment in the next co video don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already and hit that notification bell. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.
friendly swarm activated. Lost Charlie. Predator missile inbound. Hey, thanks for watching this video up until this point. I hope you guys enjoyed this little look at Call of, du uh, Call of Duty Mobile or COD Mobile. Uh, it's fun playing this game, I gotta say. But if you guys have any suggestions, let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to hit that like button, hit that notification bell, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.